south of Darwin, uh, Adelaide River, um, which I'm assuming is a bridge up ahead, but I just pulled over in a little rest area. So, uh, bike's first run on uh, Australia's roads, uh, which is all going swimmingly apart from uh, the temperature warning light just came on. This is a sort of got into here, which is a bit concerning because it's, um, although it's warm, it's not massively hot but I know the radiator is clean because obviously it's been clean to get through quarantine um, and my voltmeter seems to have gone AWOL it was working fine but now switched off it's reading 14 volts which is a bit worrying I hope it's the meter that's gone AWOL um, well, even if the battery had overcharged, I don't think it would sit at 14 volts, it would still be somewhere around 12. That's what I'm convincing myself anyway. I know I'm in shadow here, but hey, it's a bit tricky to get some sunlight. So yeah, um, a few little issues really. But hey ho! <laughs> Um, I'm just going to check the battery before I move on, just make sure the connections are good. There's no issue there. And try and uh, have a quick once over the bike and see where we go from there. a little bit of maintenance and water was a little bit low in the uh, overflow tank so I've topped that up um, see how we got on I know the radiator's clean because it was jet washed everywhere so I know the radiator's okay or as okay as it's going to be and the voltmeter I've just totally disconnected the battery and it's still with the battery disconnected sits at 14 volts when you power it up it goes up to 16 and then when you start it up uh, sorry when you power it, yeah, it goes up to 16 when you start it up it goes off the scale so I think what's happened is the needles slip round on the gauge and it's been jiggling around it's been taking some hammer it vibrates quite a lot it always has vibrated quite a lot from the day I put it on so I think it's basically finally given up but all the battery terminals are good the regulator rectifier connection is good so uh, we're okay, it's just the meter that's the problem. So there you go, crisis averted, I, I hope. Um, it's 12.30. I've just uh, phoned up and sorted out the insurance for Queensland. So T CTP insurance in place from tomorrow, even though I'm not going to get there for a couple of days. Uh, but that's sorted. So uh, I'm just going to sit here for a bit. I think it's, I mean, it's the hottest part of the day. I've got 200 kilometers to do to get to Catherine, so uh, it's a fairly easy run. Um, just over two hours really, so there's no point traveling through the heat of the day right now because it's, it's about as hot as it's gonna get really. Um, no shade out on the road, whereas this is a nice little shady spot, so uh, take a break for a bit and we on from there. Uh, I'm assuming there's a bridge over the River Adelaide, which ought to be the title of a movie. And uh, I'll kind of move up there and see if I can get some photos of it. But thinking about it, River Adelaide, I mean, I'm in Northern Territory, 100 kilometers south of Darwin. Adelaide is right on the south of Australia. So is that a river that runs all the way to Adelaide? Who knows? There's a question to look up. A long way if it does.
Okay, so I haven't stopped and done one of these um, just because it's been too bloody hot, but it's fairly early in the morning, so uh, not quite seven o'clock yet, and it's 20, oh, just hit 30. So, while well, it's on the cooler part of the day, um, I've been riding now on these roads for five days on the road. This is my fifth day on the road, um, although it's early. This is pretty indicative of the traffic. There ain't none. Um, so it's just been riding, 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 uh, the odd road train. And uh, a few farmers passing through little towns, little one horse towns. And that's been about it really. The biggest town I passed through is Mount Isa, which is just a pit town. So, um, seen loads and loads of roadkill. <laughs> Haven't seen any live kangaroos, but seen plenty of dead ones. Uh, and this countryside is just kind of, well, it's got a bit greener now because I'm getting near the coast. I'm about 300 kilometers away from Townsville, which is right on the coast. So, uh, I'm gonna get there today, hopefully. So there we are. Uh, see how we get on when we get to Townsville and we'll go from there.